one young woman came in here yesterday and she really got it. First of all, she suddenly felt that she didn't have real life skills and that learning how to build like this would be a really valuable skill and fairly easily obtained. And that, re that reminded me of how I felt. Even though I was an architect, I didn't really know how to build a house. In theory I did, but I had no idea. And when I came out of that co-op workshop, that my world had changed because I felt like I had the power and the know-how. And it isn't, it's not know-how, it's know-how <laughs> in the hands to do it. And that changes your world. It was wearing out my body, especially my right arm, and especially my elbow and my wrist, from hammering and sawing and all the noise and toxic wood and stuff. And it was just like, I was getting fed up with that part. So then when I saw that you could build without having that right armness and that poison and noise, you know, really excludes other people. You don't go up to somebody who's sawing a board and say, hi, what you doing? But this whole idea of the cob was so inclusive of people and so much easier on my body and on my nose and, you know, my lungs and everything. And then of course the wonderful people that it attracts just expanded my life and my experience of learning how to get along and gathering and working together. And so it, it ended up being this much bigger thing than, than I pictured in the first place, which was just like, oh, this is so beautiful. This is so cool. You know, I, I want everybody to do it. And then slowly it just became that I don't even care that much about the, the cob itself. It's the process of the people getting together and sharing and realizing that they can do what they dream or that they can be freer of the expectations that have been put on them. And Cobb kind of tells people that in a real cellular way. And you can watch how it affects the people. You know, at first they're kind of skeptical and asking technical questions and, you know, frowning. And then by about day three, they're just laughing and they're covered in dirt and they're having conversations, deep conversations about what they maybe could do in their life. But it seems to be a, a standard sort of evolution process that humans go through when they're cobbing and working together and giving up that, okay, we have to look good and clean and, you know, I'm doing what I'm doing and you're doing what you're doing, where you just eat together and you work together and create together and make decisions together. It's just selfish. It, I don't do it because I want to save the world. You know, I do it because I want to save myself. Well, about 14 years ago, I didn't have a roof over my head. I got divorced and I had about $4,000. One of the things that was most important was to get that roof over our head. I was advised by friends and family to get a little mobile home and park it either here on my parents' property where I'm at or somewhere else. And I just didn't want to. I, I felt that I had learned a way of building a house. I had taken the first Cobb Cottage workshop and had learned how to build Cobb and I felt that if my parents said I could park a mobile home on their property, why not build my own little house? So I did. And I started building it pretty much by myself, but my parents helped with some of the woodwork. And um, four months later I moved in and I've been living happily ever after, so it was a, a very 
quick process and and uh, and it was never regretted. It was wonderful. I think of the the mobile house once in a while, thinking of what it would have been like to to live in a, one of those boxes, and there's just no comparison. I've never since then doubted who I am because when you follow that first crazy dream, which Cobb was for me, why should you have doubts about anything else that you have inside you, other dreams you have? So I've tended to think that Cobb has strengthened who I am and that strength is shown to everybody who comes in and visits, um, you know, whether it's for a few minutes or for days or old friends or new friends. I think they feel the strength of the house because that's what was put into it, was, was my own strength. And it's a testament every day to me that I did it, I can do it, and I can do just about anything. If, if it's a good goal, go for it. So, yay Cobb. <laughs> she was, how old were you then? Nine. I was nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you forgot your own name. <laughs> you forgot my age. Right. <laughs> so maybe you'd like to talk about okay, that. Okay, okay. About that. <laughs>